the first thing I did when I got up this morning was I read before even looking at my phone which I'm proud of because I haven't done that in a really long time I'm still a little cramping but majority of this morning was spent editing so this morning I'm thinking about having jackfruit breakfast tacos so I really want some easy over egg today is a low carb day I take her home, get her the legs for me since she got out. I don't think Nova wants to walk today. Maybe because it's late in the day, she's like, we could have did this earlier. She was already laying down comfortably, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's because she don't want her fucking coat on. They all the way back there. But she acting funny. You're so pretty. She's so pretty. <laughs> Currently looking up my Pilates routine. I'm not cramping bad enough to where I can't do like, like I have to do gentle yoga or anything like that. So today I'm doing cardio yoga. I'm about to get from under the heating pad and do some yoga, or not yoga, but some Pilates. It's crazy because when my sister was doing Pilates on YouTube, I was like thinking like, oh yeah, right, whatever. It's not a burn, but these little minor movements with Pilates, it's intense. Eclipse of my Eden. It's supposed to rain today, so as soon as I'm done with this, me and Nova are gonna go on our walk. I know I said I don't want to talk about Moon, but let me tell y'all what happened last night as I was making dinner. Last week, I was talking to Jaleesa, and I was telling her that I'm really trying to move forward with no hate in my heart. Like, I don't want to be angry because of the circumstance. Like, I know it was an accident. If she would have known Moon was under the car, she would have never ran him over. But I wasn't mad about that part. I was mad about everything that happened after. Going weeks without telling me, especially when you found out that he was mine. That was the thing that hurt the most, letting me walk around with hope. I was angry about that. I didn't want to be upset. I just wanted to forgive. Like, I don't need to talk to them or say anything, but I don't need to be like avoiding them or acting as though they don't exist when I do come across paths with them. As I was cooking dinner, there's a knock on my back door. And who else could it be? And it was the girl. She was like, hey, we were walking and we saw a cat and he looks just like your cat that died and we were wondering if you want him and i was like oh i'm not ready for a new cat because that's honestly how i feel like it's crazy because lately i've been looking into like ragdoll cats and stuff but then as i was doing that one night i just stopped and I broke down and I started crying because I realized it's not about getting a new kid in. It's about me trying to fill that void. So then I stopped looking. When it's meant for me to have another cat, it would happen. And then she was like, well, she was like, are you sure you don't even want to see the picture? And I was like, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not ready for that. They left from in front of my door and I closed the door and I went back to cooking but I couldn't stop thinking about the cat that they were talking about. Then I went back outside and I was like, I actually do want to see the picture. So then they showed me. I mean, he looked similar to me. He looked similar to Moon. He was cute. He was a cute cat. I don't want to replace Moon. I don't want a cat that looks just like Moon. I think that would do more harm than good to me. Every time I would look at the cat, I would be thinking about Moon or the fact that he's not here. <laughs> I'm 
in the middle of doing Pilates. And I know you guys can hear that, right? You can hear that. It's raining in here. Not, it's just raining outside. It's raining in here. Moving my machines, I had to take all of the flowers down. Mind you, they just fixed this shit last year. But that's not the issue. The issue is the fucking roof. And I knew this because this shit happened years ago. And Eclipse, of course, is so fucking concerned with everything over there. If this shit falls, the last thing I need is for Eclipse to be over here. But do y'all see that? It's fucking raining. I have a pot and a towel down. What the fuck? When it started raining earlier this year, or like in December, this was all white. He was supposed to come and he was supposed to paint. He never did so then I just put the flowers back up over there because I was like I don't want to be looking at that but if you can tell it's wet right there too honestly the only thing that I keep thinking is it's time to go the couch is in this awkward ass place because this was moved over the couch was moved over everything and then I can hear it it was hitting the couch I'm not trying to have all of my shit get ruined but I have to finish my Pilates and then I'm going to be going to my room and I'm not dealing with this <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but I really don't have time to change. Currently, I'm about to go outside. I have on my favorite pants, Avi. I haven't really been vlogging my 75 hard. Even though I've still been very consistent with it, I just haven't been vlogging it. I have to go and get some water. You know, I've been drinking a lot of water. My thing is empty, so I have to do that. I put in a maintenance request about the fucking ceiling. I don't know when that's gonna get fixed. It's not supposed to rain for the rest of the week, but who knows if they'll actually fix it before for the next time it's supposed to rain i have no idea i think i'm gonna be doing a little bit of rearranging my living room because right now the way that my machines are set up i can't use them this is my sewing area and it's right under the shit and who knows if the ceiling is gonna collapse i don't know i'm thinking the worst but at the same time you want to think the worst to make sure that you're prepared so i don't want my sewing machine under there at all so i'll most likely end up rearranging the living room to make it to where i can still sew and push out thrift flips and all of this shit because i was on a sewing spree I'm on my way to the water spot i think that's literally the only place that i'm going today like i don't have any other errands to run i am obsessed with Pilates just from doing the at home workouts the way that my body feels like pfft, I really want to start taking Legree again because I know if I'm just doing the home workouts and my body is already feeling thin and just more toned I know once I get on that reformer bitch it's a wrap I think next week I'm going to start the reformer classes so if I'm being motherfucking honest I'm really excited using the car mount. So I'm on my way to Costco right now. I'm excited because I haven't been to Costco in a minute and I wanna get hella shit that I need. Obviously I have on something comfortable because I kinda had to rush. Like after I did my hair, I realized that I really didn't have that much time because I have to move my car by 10 for street cleaning. This outfit always happens to be something that I just throw on. I am back from Costco and I went to Ralph and I went to Sprouts. I went to the Sprouts that was next to Costco for eggs. Usually I always get the 18 because I get two packs. They only had the 12 packs so I got two. I like pasteurized eggs better. I feel like 
the yolk is more golden and it just tastes like creamier to me. So at Ralph's, I got pork and chicken thighs for Eclipse and Nova. And then I also got frozen chicken breasts. I got three packs of these peas and carrots for their cooked food. I got some red tomatoes because tomorrow is a no carb day and I plan on making tomato soup. I also got some soy milk, some heavy whipping cream to go in the soup and I got vegetable broth. I also got some freezer bags and I also got some honey and I got foil. That was from Sprouts and Ralph's from Costco. Of course I spent majority of my money at Costco but I feel like this is gonna last me all month. I got some shrimp. I got some tilapia loins. I got these because it's 21 grams of protein per serving. I got sockeye salmon. I got some strawberries. I also got pineapple for smoothies. I got mango for smoothies and then i also just got broccoli and then i got some canned albacore tuna there's eight cans 42 grams of protein i also got some chia seeds for my smoothies and then also just so i can make um chia pudding and then i also got hemp hearts i've never used hemp hearts before i was gonna get protein powder but i didn't see the point i do want to get these protein shakes that i used to get the only what you need i really like those protein shakes so i'm probably gonna end up getting those but i'll probably just end up ordering them off of walmart because i feel like walmart has the best deal for them but when i was in sprouts i did see them and they were 10.99 but on walmart.com they're only i believe it's 23 for a four pack of four so it's 23 dollars for 12 of them the last thing that i got were dates just because i really enjoy eating dates with cashews and then with peanut butter so good like such a good sweet snack me and nova are about to go on a walk even though i've been gone pretty much all day and i haven't eaten yet we're gonna go on our walk before i eat because once i eat i know i'm gonna just want to sit down and not go back outside i also forgot to show you guys but i also got this 25 pound bag of jasmine rice it was only 17 dollars i think i forgot to mention i got bananas too how we do this every time anyways about to walk into this dog park real quick give her a little breaky break i miss nobody <laughs> She's so sad with all the other dogs are over there, the large dogs, and she can't go over there because she's a small baby. It's okay, mama. It's oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm starving. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner yet. I don't know if this just happens to me, but like, don't you hate when you go to the grocery store and you get all of this shit and then you have no idea what you wanna eat? What's for dinner? I have no fucking idea, but I know I got grocery. I know I'm about to eat those leftovers cause I'm starving. Literally haven't had any food all day today. So I'm very hungry. Today is a high carb day. I don't think we talked about this. No, we didn't because I don't even think I filled out the board no i didn't today i've already as soon as i got up i read my book i took my picture and i did my outdoor workout me and novi just got back in the house from our walk i don't feel like doing shit in this living room if i'm being 100 percent honest oh my god but look at this look at the board we did a whole week i didn't even talk about this i don't even think i was really filming i haven't really been filming honestly we did a whole fucking week we did a whole fucking week already. We have two and a half more days and then we're on our third week. We're at the start of our third week. I'm almost two weeks down. The fuck? Every day Pilates. Every day going outside. Even in the rain, bitch. I've been doing that thing. I've been walking. Well, I hula hooped in the rain. But, bitch, even in the rain, the rain can't even stop me, bitch. I am, I am disciplined. I am determined to do this shit. Kudos to me. All right, y'all. Stop, 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 st